Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video, guys. If you have a BMW, guys, 5 Series, and you have engine misfire, we'll, guys, actually share the top 17 reasons that we see here at the shop that cause engine misfire, and we'll share the most common ones with you as well. So make sure you stay until the end. We'll share very helpful information, guys, that can save you thousands of dollars on repairs on your BMW. No, that should work on generation E60, E61, even on E39 gasoline engine, doesn't matter if you have a 4 or 6 or V8 engine guys, practically it will apply to all of them, so make sure to stay until the end. Before we start, all the tools and parts that uh, you will need to fix that, we will share the link in the description of the video below to see where you can get tools and parts from, um, that's where we get everything for the shop as well guys, and another thing, every single car we get at the shop we make at least 200 free repair videos, why we do that, because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can, all we need in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video, that way we can keep providing this free information to you. So. This is guys actually a 6 cylinder N52 engine that we'll be demonstrating on but even guys if you have a 4 or 8 cylinder engine, gasoline engine, procedure will be very very similar. Now, uh, before we start let me tell you one thing guys, check this channel out, it's called Auto Repair guys, this is our main channel and we have guys helped more than 75 million people, we have information that can save you thousands, thousands of dollars on future car repairs, so check it out, subscribe, we're daily. Uh, pumping new content daily there as well. So, what is the most common reason for engine misfire on a BMW? Spark plugs, guys. And that's simple, right? We'll start with uh, the most simple ones and we'll get to the more complicated ones as we go. Spark plugs. So, if your spark plug is not working correctly, if the gap is not correct, okay, or if you have the wrong type of spark plug, that can cause, okay, engine misfire. Which is, by the way, pretty, okay, um, uh, by the way, it's uh, uh, pretty common to see that on a higher mileage BMW or somebody that never replaced spark plugs. Number two, guys. Okay, still related to the spark plugs, it's your ignition coils. Believe me, sooner or later, you'll be replacing ignition coils. On almost any BMW, after 110, 20,000 miles, we have to replace ignition, uh, ignition coils that we have owned. For instance, this one has 134,000 miles and we replaced uh, ignition coils two of them already on cylinder one and two they failed so we got the whole kit and we'll be replacing all six of them so that's very common but often when ignition coils fails okay you will actually even get a code for ignition coils so that will be super easy to diagnose but now let's get to the other things that are not so obvious by the way guys uh, what else it could be okay it could be guys fuel related and you will have fuel injectors, okay? You may have direct fuel injectors, you may have fuel injectors installed uh, uh, on the cylinder head uh, right after the intake manifold. So those are fuel injectors right here. And if you have a dirty fuel injector that is not spraying enough fuel or it's clogged or not working correctly or not working at all, that will cause engine misfire because that cylinder will not be getting certain amount of fuel. And as a result, it will misfire and the computer will detect that. Now, fuel injectors, guys, if you have that problem, you have to remove, inspect, test them, clean them, replace if you need to put it together and that should fix your problem. But what else it could be about fuel related guys? It could be something else as well. Okay, and I just knocked my spray, this a little bit expensive spray. So let me just put it up, perfect. Uh, it could be guys, okay, weak fuel pump. That's another reason. Weak fuel pump will not deliver the amount of fuel that the engine needs. As a result, what will happen guys, Okay, the fuel pump will be putting certain amount of fuel, but the engine at higher RPMs or under load when you're accelerating, it will need more fuel and that can end up in misfires. That can be caused actually by a bad fuel regulator as well. And on most BMWs, you have a device on your fuel rail that you can check your fuel rail pressure and you can find out if the pump and the fuel regulator are working correctly. So that's easy to test, guys. But what else can do that? Okay, you have guys a device, it's called an oxygen sensor. So you will have on a six cylinder engine, you have two upstream oxygen sensors, two downstream oxygen sensors. On four cylinder engines, most likely we have one upstream, one downstream. On V8, it really depends. Sometimes you have two upstreams uh, and sometimes you have two, uh, two downstreams as well. So uh, the problem guys with oxygen sensors sometimes, okay, they actually read how much air and fuel you have in the exhaust system of your car. So it tells the engine computer if everything is working correctly, so that way you get 
uh, the, the most horsepower out of your engine and you're not wasting fuel. So if you guys have too much okay, air in the system or too much fuel the, uh, in the exhaust system, the oxygen sensor will tell the engine computer to adjust how much fuel or how much air the engine to get. But if that sensor is actually sending the wrong information, guys, and you can see that sensor, okay, right there, what will happen, actually, guys, you will end up, okay, you're going to end up uh, telling the, uh, the, the, fuel in, uh, the oxygen sensor will tell the engine computer the wrong information, and you may end up getting <coughs> less fuel or more air, and that can result in misfire as well. And uh, it could be due to a bad oxygen sensor. And we have a video on the channel that explains actually how to test those. Now, something else that we see quite often, BMWs often will have ground wires that go from the ignition coil to the engine somewhere. Okay, we removed ours to clean here. You can see this is a ground wire for cylinder 1, 2 and 3. And then you have another one in our case for cylinder 4, 5 and 6. And we have a ground wire coming from the body of the car okay to right here so always inspect that one as well clean, clean your ground wires that go to the engine because uh, bad ground can cause misfires as well now another common thing guys another common thing you have that device that's called mass airflow sensor that mass airflow sensor detects how much air your engine is getting it measures the amount of air and it tells the engine computer okay that's how much air we're getting so that's how much fuel we need if your mass airflow sensor is dirty it's not working correctly, it's broken, or you have even an aftermarket one, sometimes that can cause problems, guys. And we'll have a video on the channel how to clean mass airflow sensor, how to actually test one sensor and find out if it's good or bad. I would definitely recommend to go with original sensors, and you can find where you can get yours in the description of the video below, because aftermarket, sometimes when we use them, they don't work. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. So it's a 50-50 chance, in my opinion, guys, and we always go with original stuff. So that being said mass airflow sensor but what else it could be it could be guys something that uh, uh, you will never think about but it's called a vacuum leak vacuum leak is any extra air that the engine is getting but the engine actually doesn't know about that air so any amount of air that the engine will get between the okay uh, mass airflow sensor and the uh, and, the, and the pistons any amount of air that will get between that point guys okay it will not know about because that sensor will not be able to calculate because let's say you have a leak right here on that hose on the intake boot that we have right here that will actually end up guys getting more air and that can cause misfires so cracked engine boots hose clamps that are loose that attach to the intake manifold uh, gasket for the throttle body intake manifold gasket that attach to the cylinder head those can lead to vacuum leaks pcv hoses this is for the uh, positive crank case ventilation system that can leak, uh, cause vacuum leaks as well. So vacuum leaks, we have a special video that explains all that because it's very complicated where you can develop uh, vacuum leaks. And you often will have a code sometimes when you have a vacuum leak such as P0171 or 174. Now, what else guys can cause that? Dirty throttle body. Throttle body that's dirty can cause that and that's, uh, that's common as well. We have a video on the channel how to remove throttle body and how to clean throttle body as well. It's not very complicated at all, guys. But if everything else checks out, guys, check your compression of your engine. Each of the cylinders should have certain compression depending on the model okay, of the engine. So check your compression and make sure that you have good compression. Sometimes bad compression, guys, will cause misfires. And uh, that could be because of a burned valve. It could be because of bad... Uh, of, 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 uh, of bad piston rings okay or engine that's worn guys that that's very common as well sometimes for hard mileage engine for somebody that drove a car with a bad misfire or anything like that for a long time it can actually cause damage to your engine so uh, that could happen guys but what else okay what else can cause that it could be bad head gasket check that you're not losing coolant if you're losing coolant sometimes it means that maybe you're burning it through the engine and if you get uh, if you have bad head gasket where actually coolant is leaking in one of the cylinders you can develop a misfire because that coolant will get the spark plug wet and, and as a result guys okay your cylinder will not misfire and that right there is actually okay very common as well for engine that has been overheated so make sure that you never overheat your engine guys now another thing guys catalytic converters 
that's uh, okay you just hope that's not the case because those are expensive you have catalytic converters on six cylinder engine we have two of them right after the intake manifold uh, right after the exhaust manifolds excuse me and you may have a third one on the exhaust sometimes a port catalytic converter will not let enough air go through it exhaust gas to go through it and as a result it will create a, a, too much back pressure with, which can result into engine misfire so bad catalytic converters can do that and usually by removing the catalytic converters you can inspect them and find out if they're good or bad uh, we'll have a video how to recognize that coming very very soon something else to check guys you have usually camshaft position sensors okay for uh, for instance you have two most of the times on the intake camshaft position sensor and on the exhaust camshaft position sensor check the wiring harness make sure you don't have oil inside the wiring harness that can cause sometimes uh, misfires as well uh, you want to check that guys another thing okay check your crankshaft position sensor crankshaft position sensor can cause that as well and uh, make sure guys that your your actually uh, spark plug holes are not full of engine oil or water sometimes when people wash engines they will get uh, too much water in the spark plug holes and as a result that will result into misfire when your engine gets hot or if your valve cover gasket is bad you can start leaking engine oil inside the spark plug well and that engine oil can cause misfire as well and lastly guys bad engine computer we had that happen before uh, and we had to have the computer repaired we didn't replace it we actually have it repaired but it was the driver for one of the uh, for one of the ignition coils was burnt and as a result we had it replaced and everything was fine after that but uh, if you guys get good fuel if you get good compression and good spark plug you should have normal running engine if you're not getting spark plug okay or fuel it could be even a computer but you just hope that's not the case so hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you guys next time